So in the continuation of the Kling AI video series, I'm gonna show you now how you can create an AI character of yourself and then put yourself in an AI video generated by Kling. Now this does require you to create videos of yourself, so training data, a training set of videos that show a range of movements and different things like this. And then you then put that into Kling, it will create the model, and then you can use your model to put yourself in prompts and create AI videos. And I was like, this is really cool. I looked at it. I haven't actually practiced with it yet because I wanted to film the video with me actually doing it. Plus it's quite expensive in terms of credit. So I didn't really want to, you know, money this, that. These are my different training videos right here showing a wide variety of different things. They have to be 1080p, a minimum of five seconds and a maximum of about 15 seconds. What we're going to do when you're on the homepage right here, you're going to come down to AI custom model click on that and then first off you're going to see this use instructions for Kling AI so basically in a nutshell it's telling you to use common sense you know use it make sure if you are using someone else you have their permission first don't be stupid please use common sense press agree and when it comes on it will say upload a 5 to 15 second frontal face video first so this is the example right here so that's what i'm going to go and do and then this is me right here so if i press play you can just see what i'm doing normal straight on looking at the camera like it asked for maybe i think i did some hand movements here or something or face movements there you go oh and hands there you go a bit of everything but that's it so as we've done that so if you're happy with that which I am, we can press next step. And again, there's the name. So carry on and additional 10 to 30 videos of the same character, but from different angles. So if you say I've got it again here, it just gives you different ideas of what you can do, action demonstration and yeah, di different things, but the character is consistent to an extent. Moderate 15 qualified videos, start training or upload more videos. I'm gonna start training. Um, so you can see here the price so there's a flash sale of 50% off. Okay, so it's 999 credits from up here. So it's still a nice chunk of, you know, credits. So, you know, I would say do it relatively properly and maybe you would do the full 30, but again, maybe 15, we will see. So anyway, let's press training and then you're gonna select uh, your gender, so male, and then press confirm. There we go. And now you will have to wait a while. So it says you will have to wait one hour and 52 minutes, so about two hours. So we will pause the video here and come back once it's completed. So the model has finished being created right now, as you can see right here. Now we are gonna go back to AI videos and we are gonna go over to text to video. And again, the way you're gonna come down to is face reference. Now, this is where you're gonna see the girl from the training videos from before, who is showing you the different examples of how to film, how to prepare yourself and what to do and all that sort of stuff. So if we click on this, you will now see we have her, but we also have me. So yes, there we go. The Future Fuel Cafe, Danny One. And just like that, we press it and you can see it's injected in now i have five different prompts which i have created from chat gpt but what i've done is to use it in different scenarios different realms it's not all the same you know not something that's nice easy to make but you know a little bit challenging but also interesting in terms of how the shot could look and i want to see just how it handles that because as you know by now if you've been following this series through you know i'm a massive fan of kling and i think it is the best one to date in terms of an ai video generator so i'm really intrigued to see now how it does with my face and review it again i haven't played around with any of this you're going to see my my reaction to the real results at the same time that i see them for the first time all right so the first one is so me you know the Future Fuel Cafe Danny One is the mastermind of a futuristic cyberpunk city sitting atop a high tech throne with high holographic, my English, with holographic screens and neon cityscapes in the background. And I have to say, actually, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I am actually pretty impressed. Me, my character, is a dragon slayer mid battle with a massive fire breathing dragon surrounded by molten lava flows and a crumbling volcanic castle in the background. Sounds quite dramatic. I am now gonna give the AI some creativity with this, 0.25, yeah, seems good. The only thing is I don't see me in this. I see a deformed looking dragon. Um, and that, 
I have no idea. That's a fail. Yep, straight up fail. So there we go. That was very easy. Me is in a high speed race going for a cyberpunk cityscape piloting a sleek futuristic vehicle with pulsating LED lights under a starry polluted sky. Let's make it a little bit more to follow the prompt, 0.65, and we're gonna generate it like that. I mean, it's come out well in the sense of the city going through racing, I like that, I like how it looks. That has come out well in the consistency there, the starry sky. It, is that me? I mean, it's the back of me, maybe, yeah, no. I, I, that's a hard judgment call. Yeah, I don't really know. But aside from it potentially being the back of me, uh, <laughs> I actually really like the image. I like the reflections here on the car or the flying, whatever it's meant to be, speed racing car. And I like the background, the consistency of the images. So aside from it not being me, as far as I can tell, other than the back of me, really, really nice point of view. And yeah, I like it. Okay, for the fourth one, me is a lone survivor navigating a desolate wasteland clad in rugged makeshift gear with abandoned ruins and stormy skies in the background. Sounds quite good, actually. I feel like I'm gonna make this more for the AI to interpret and be creative with it. Again, I want widescreen, not gonna do anything. Ah, uh, no, let's put morphing. I feel like morphing because dynamic movement, morphing. Yeah, we'll go with that. Ooh, this is cool. And I actually think it's come out pretty well. Again, my face is static, but we are actually pretty happy with that. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with that. Now for the final one, I'm animated in a Tron-like virtual world surrounded by glowing grids, colorful abstract patterns, and a playful AI assistant hovering nearby. Sounds interesting. Gonna leave it 50-50. And yeah, I'm actually happy with that. I'm not really gonna reinvent the wheel. Let's press hit and see what we get. Okay, this is just god awful. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely looked deformed a little bit, but what's going on with my hand? But uh, yeah, and the AI assistant is definitely creepy, but not bad. Let's just create one more and see how it comes out. Right, so my video has finally finished being made and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Smiling at his dog, so that's me, Whilst at the beach during sunset, golden hour, smoothing, cinematic, camera motion. Why have I put smoothing? I think it's done pretty well with uh, recreating me right there. Not perfect, but I'd say pretty damn good. So I like the consistency of me moving there. So if you just look at me here and moving, then it looks like my eyes just go a little bit, I don't know, dead or just sort of laser focused. Um, but then if you look at the dog as well, moving around, consistent, nice. I like the light, I like the waves in the background. Overall, I would actually say I'm actually very impressed with this. I think it's come out very well. So yeah, that's how you inject yourself into AI video using Kling. And I actually enjoyed the process. It was interesting. I was quite intrigued to see what results you would get as well. And I mean, you could take, for example, AI images that you have injected yourself into and then, you know, turn those from AI images to video and do it that way. But the fact you can actually inject yourself with into video directly and then let the model take care of the rest, just using your prompts and all that sort of good stuff. I'm really impressed again. And I think it adds a dynamic a different interesting dynamic that I haven't seen too much of or really explored myself. So it's definitely something I want to play around with more, but the fact it offers you to do it. So again, this for me really does solidify Kling as my favorite AI video generator at the minute. Let me know what your results have been like. If you've had any certain issues with prompts, maybe have you got better results, more dynamic movements? If you've uploaded the full of 30 videos, I think, what did I get down to 15 videos, test videos in the end, but I really enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.